What's next for SpaceX and Starship? Since the early tests of Starhopper, testing has been rapid and relentless. Three successful 150 meter hops with Starhopper, SM5, and SM6. The successful test on August 27, 2019, signalled the end of Starhopper. Starhopper was repurposed as a water tank on the production site. SN5 and SN6 were the first Starship prototypes flight testing. Both were successful in their 150 meter test flights. SN8 was the first high altitude test flight for Starship. SN9 followed SN8, but both test flights failed. SN8 suffered a hard landing after a fuel pressure issue. SN9 had a hard landing on its side due to over rotation. Now it was SN10's turn, no more than a month later. SN10 launched from Pad A in early March 2021. SN10 successfully flew to 10 kilometers, descended and landed. SN10 landed at a slight lean and exploded after eight minutes. SN11 launched later that month, but was lost mid-flight. SpaceX needed a successful test, or Starship was to be no more. All hopes were now with SM15, a new iteration of Starship. On an overcast day, on May 5th, SM15 launched from Pad A. Hovered at 10 kilometers before its controlled descent and flip. After nailing the landing, SM15 was a complete success. A major milestone in Starship's development had been realized. Now was the time for SpaceX to look ahead with Starship's development. And SpaceX focused on readying Starbase for integrated flight tests. Work was done to complete the tank farm and launch tower. All the hard work so far had paid off, but bigger challenges now wait ahead. But after much hard work, the time came for Super Heavy Booster and Starship to fly together. With SN24 and Booster 7 stacked on the Starbase orbital pad, SpaceX was about to launch the world's most powerful rocket. Three of the engines on Booster failed at launch. Despite this, the launch caused severe damage to the launch site. 
at least three more engines would fail during the flight. Without managing separation, the vehicle eventually enters an uncontrolled spin. The vehicle's flight termination system is initiated and is destroyed over 40 seconds later. The launch is deemed a success from the point of leaving the launch pad. With their focus on the second integrated flight test, All repairs and upgrades, including a new water deluge system, are done. And come November 18th, 2023, IFT-2 is on the launch pad and ready for flight. IFT-2 launched with the new deluge system protecting the pad. With all 33 Raptor engines burning, IFT-2 was noticeably quicker from the pad. Among the changes from IFT-1, most notable is that IFT-2 will use hot staging for separation. This time separation was a success after booster's full burn duration. As Starship flew on, booster was terminated after its flip and burn maneuver. Starship continued and reached 80% of orbital speed. Starship was terminated in the end, but IFT-2 was a major step forward and all-round success for SpaceX. So, what is next for Starship? There is a long road to go. with much more testing ahead. SpaceX will be hoping to complete a full integrated flight test. With a splashdown of both Booster and Starship at their planned locations. Then we will see attempts to successfully land after their flight. I expect to see Booster and Starship landing on the landing pad first. After this has been successful, we will see the first attempts to catch them. Before we get to this point, there could be delays from elsewhere. Starship will need to prove itself with re-entry first. Of course we know the ultimate goal is colonising Mars. But there are other missions closer to home for Starship. There will be the Dear Moon mission and Starship's part in the Artemis project. Dear Moon was hoped for no earlier than 2023. With much more testing ahead, this will more likely be 2025 at the earliest. Refueling vehicles in space will be a game changer for exploration. And this is where Starship will shine. With Starship's massive payload capacity, it can be a workhorse. With fuel and cargo transfer abilities, Starship will be integral to exploration. To establishing a permanent lunar base along with the Lunar Gateway. And of course the colonisation of Mars. Let's not forget that the dreams for Starship's capabilities don't stop there. Once we have a presence on Luna and Mars, they are also doors to the beyond. With the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, and the asteroid belt, natural next steps. But for the here and the now.
Starship is still in early development. And we can enjoy firsthand the progress and developments made. With the next major milestones to be accomplished being full orbit and landing. And then on to refueling in orbit and cargo transfer. But for the time being, I hope you enjoy being part of the game changing experience. As I truly believe we are witnessing a necessary leap in the development of human civilization. So until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.